So midfoot sprain is very common. It's under-recognised and um, it involves a joint called the Chopin joint. So it's a joint between the hind foot and the midfoot. So I'll just show you a little video. It'll move quite quickly through where to put your probe. So the Chopin joint is this one with the orange line. It involves these dorsal ligaments, so the calcaneocuboid, which can be one, two, or a V-shape, the bifurcate ligament, so-called because of its two limbs, and medially the talonavicular ligament. So starting laterally, if you just plonk your probe on the lateral foot, you'll see the calcaneus. You zoom forward until you identify the first joint, which is calcaneocuboid. You're parallel with the sole of the foot. And then moving up and down, you might appreciate one, two, or no bands of this dorsal calcaneocuboid. So in this case, we can see it nicely because there's some joint fluid pushing out and, and helping to outline it. That's the starting point for finding bifurcate ligaments. So all you've got to do is move up, and the bone on the right is the calcaneus. It changes shape. That's the anterior process of the calcaneus. We see a little thin limb which is the lateral limb of the bifurcate, also called calcaneocuboid. So to keep it simple, we'll just call it the lateral limb. And overlying that, you can see the extensor digitorum brevis. So you've just got to look on the deep side. It's quite a long ligament. Now we're going to pivot the probe on the anterior process of the calcaneus, and you're going to rotate one end of the transducer medially towards the navicular. So it's essentially the cross-section view of extensor digitorum brevis. So the muscle on top being EDB. So if you look on the deep aspect of that muscle, you might appreciate a white line, an echogenic line, spread like a hammock over this osseous valley. So on the right, the anterior process of the calcaneus, on the left, the navicular. It may help you to look for a little tiny artery on the deep side of EDB, and the ligament sits just under that. Moving medially now, we're looking at the talonavicular joint. So you plonk on these tendons you know well, anterior tibialis, find EHL, so the halicus tendon. If you'd rotate into longitudinal on the EHL, you can identify the ankle joint, tibio-talar joint. If you slide south, you'll identify the double bump of the talus, and that big knob there is part of the talar neck, and the first joint is Chopin joint, so this is the talonavicular ligament. Essentially, you'll be directly underneath EHL. And don't forget to move medial to lateral to scan the ligament thoroughly because it is quite a, a broad, thick ligament. You'll probably have more fun finding that than the other two that we started on.